Another two sides pushing for finals. There's 6th to 14th at the moment pushing for finals. The GWS Giants travel to Adelaide and outstanding. 17 points down. And in the last quarter, all the big moments were there, starting with that man, Toby Green, who is in the All-Australian team as it stands at the moment. He's been brilliant. And then Jesse Hogan was good. Josh Kelly bounced back from his poor performance last week, but gave them no chance at three-quarter time. I, I thought Adelaide would steady. They're a five-goal better side, but they just could not put a foot wrong, and he flushed that nicely. Yeah, he did, Himmelberg. And it, hard to underestimate what a big win this was. I mean, when you are 17 points down at three-quarter time against a, a crowd like this mm. in Adelaide, they've got all the momentum to stand up and do what they did and to defend as strongly as what they did in that last quarter and to keep Adelaide goalless was significant. And Lordo, one man that was crucial in that was Sam Taylor once again. What a player Sam Taylor is. And we shouldn't be shocked because he's been doing it for a long, long time. He's just been unfortunate with a few injuries. So Tex kicked a couple early. And Kane, he didn't touch it after half time. Did not have one possession after half time. And not only did Taylor limit his influence, his offensive stuff, 16 intercepts. He took five intercept marks. He had nine touches in the last quarter and was influential in the reason that GWS defended 13 entries for one point. Again, now, they've conceded a lot of entries this year, but they've held up really well. He missed, I think, eight weeks with that nasty hammy injury, but their back line, Stevie, and their back six is as good as any. Yeah, they're defending really well, and, and one player that's really underrated down there is Connor Iden. Um, if he was at Collingwood, uh, he'd be the, the equivalent to Isaac Quainer in terms of the way he defends one-on-one. -on -one. Um, around that Perryman, Taylor um, has, you know, he, had, he was injured for the first part of this year, which I reckon if, if he wasn't injured, they would have probably won another couple of games. They would probably be sitting in the eight right now. The uh, Josh Rochelle issue is uh, interesting. He's had a bad, well, a quietish six to eight weeks, and he's found himself in um, umpire issues here with uh, this, this contact with Harry Perryman. Now, this is all okay to this point, but there's a, an arm that, uh, that waves around here, and it this one, the Buckley. may well make contact on Buckley here, and, and that's been the, uh, the source of the, uh, the issue that he's got. Match Review Office will put its lens over it, but uh, he hasn't had a great no, six to eight weeks. Did he miss him, Damo? Did he miss him? Well, that will be determined. The umpires have, have pinned him for Brandon, it. Brandon, he's one for me that needs to pull his head in. As, as a person and as a footballer, right. there's, there's all the carry-on that he's got when he's going well. But, gee, he was undisciplined yesterday. There was that, that bit of play where he got hit around the mouth and he went charging, didn't get the free kicks. He went chasing the player. This one, he gets hits in the mouth, but goes chasing the player. Get down, rips him to the ground. Free kick against us. A real momentum changer. And, and he got taken off the ground for it. Didn't get put on the phone. But I think he's, at times, thinks he's going better than he is. And I think that's something that Nixie should get on top of. That you're not a 200... You're not Toby Green. You're not uh, Charlie Cameron. And start doing the little things that got you drafted. Because I reckon he's got ahead of himself. But they've treated him like a rock star by yeah. giving him the long term Well, that's what I was going to say. That, that, yeah. It's why the club's just err uh, with that. Like, Saligo got till 2029. And he hasn't touched it since. He's dropped. Rochelle's a player that you know, has so much talent, but you've got to keep them hungry on edge. Signed till 2029. was already there till 2025. They've extended him. I mean, some of these calls on these deals just blows my mind.